All right, guys, back at the warming hut. Featured this a few times on the channel before. As you can see, we got the channel. We got, we got the warming hut over here. We got some cows up on the hill. But today, um, I realized, you know, I have never sh actually shown you guys the trails that are down here. I've always ended up here in the wintertime. Today, we're actually going to check out those trails and show you what they're like. So that is the cabin climb on the descent. I really like doing it that way because it just has a lot more flow. It's kind of fun to toss the bike around. Um, people do it in the opposite direction because the climb out of here is a lot steeper, but yo cow. Move, move, move. So cows are obviously a, a thing over here. That's, you gotta watch out for the green mud. But now we are on a trail, um, locally known as the Bucket Trail. It goes by a couple different names, whether you're on Strava or um, Trail Forks. So this trail here, is, it drops off pretty steep on one side. So kind of watch where you put your feet if you do go ahead and stop, but otherwise, technically, it's a very easy trail. Let's see if we can get these cows to come out of the way. There they go. Or. Yep, yep. Come on. Move along. Move. Yep, yep. Okay, there we go. So when there's not cows on this trail, it's a pretty fun little flowy flat piece of single track. Ooh. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> pretty steep. This bridge until just kind of recently um, wasn't here. You walked on a kind of a sketchy log to get across. 
but this is the Webster's Dam. There's not much, a whole lot left to see of it. When the water's flowing a bit more, you get a, a big waterfall coming over this side. But water level's a little low today. All right, welcome to the top of the Webster Dam downhill. One thing to be aware of in Idaho is what we call moon dust. It's not too bad today, but this ground can get crazy loose and it can be worse than mud. So, aggressive front tire recommended, and watch your speed a little bit while you get used to it. Woo! Original start off to my right, and now we're into the traditional descent. rocks in here. It gets worse during the different times of the year. Or better, depending on which bike you have. <laughs> okay, now we're into the seat stuff. This is the traditional way. There's a couple other ways to get down this hole. And that was the Webster's Dam Road downhill. So I just thought I would show you guys the start of this cabin climb going up, <laughs> as the name suggests. So this section right here is the worst part. Once you get past this stuff, it's pretty easy to just gear down and make your way up but you can get a little loose in here you may slip a pedal you may find yourself in a tree like that <laughs> but once you get kind of over this rise it's pretty good Woo! so i've climbed back up here to what uh, they call the dam trail or the webster's dam road as it's uh, probably more traditionally referred to and then I'm gonna be going down this trail behind me. On Trail Forks, it's called Green Track. It's labeled as a blue, which is kind of confusing, um, but it's basically just a double track. It leads back to the road. Um, I think there's a couple of things that go on in there, but not too much. And then we'll head back down to the warming hut. And of course, this is the warming hut. This is used for snowmobilers in the wintertime. So for some reason, this used to be in pretty good shape. The window's been broken here, unfortunately. And still a little bit of wood left over. A little wood stove in here. And that window up there has also been broken out. This, uh, this may have been from wind. Actually, now that I think of it. 
Not positive, but the fact that that upper one is broken out makes me wonder. Yeah, last year a bunch of trees, um, something went through here and just knocked a bunch of trees down. I actually think there was a tornado in the area, which is kind of interesting, pretty rare phenomenon. But yeah, this is a pretty good place to park if you want to ride some of these trails. There's less and less trails to ride here uh, because of the logging activity, but um, but there are obviously still some pretty good ones. So every now and again, I try to make sure I get down here and catch a piece of it. Well, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and we'll catch you later.